Hey guys, Paulina here, and today I'm going to be making another preach video. Yes, I'm going to preach again. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what happened. The reason why I'm going to preach, the reason I'm going to give this message in this video is because of what happened today. So, today I went to church. It's Sunday, of course. Of course, there's church in Sundays. <laughs> people uh, people know that already so um when I, we were in church the um, pastor was preaching i really like he hearing the pastor preach he's like so he's really funny but at the same time his god gives him power for words to say that like literally every single time when the pastor speaks i could feel god moving his way to my heart and i it's an incredible feeling. It's the best feeling in the world. So, um, today in church, while the pastor was preaching, this guy. So today was um, operation of San Andres. If you guys don't know what that is, it's when um, the people that are already in church they invite a friend or someone to um, to join to visit the church. And so yeah. But it doesn't have to be that day, uh, Operation of San Andreas. It could be any other um, any other day, any time you want. You could bring a friend. But um, today, since it's Operation of San Andreas, it's specifically for that to help others to gain to gain um, uh, to gain people. No, I don't know how to say that. Okay, how do I say this? To gain souls? I don't know. That sounds weird. But in Spanish, is para ganar almas. So I don't know how to say this in English. To gain souls, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this guy who is uh, was new in that church, he came up to the pastor while the pastor was preaching. People don't usually do that, and it is getting dark over here. <laughs> Let me move over here. So... People usually don't do that, but while that man was walking up to the pastor, the pastor noticed that, and the pastor says, like, are you okay? You look sad. Are you okay? Well, so this, the guy, he said something that almost made me cry. It almost made a lot of people cry, and he said, so the guy said, I am not worthy of God. When he said that, that almost made me cry. It made a lot of people almost cry. And the pastor hugged him. He said, yes, you are. You are worthy. So yeah, that really made me want to cry. The guy started crying because he kept saying like, no, I am not worthy of God. Like, I'm not worthy of knowing him and stuff. And that really got me. Because I used to feel like that when I was... I actually used to feel like that when I was little. And, like, a few past days. Not even lying. A few, like, a few days ago, I felt that way. Because usually, when you have God in your heart, usually... Or when you don't, either way... The devil always finds a way to attack you, and you always got to be prepared, but that time I wasn't because I was actually getting distracted by the stuff in the world, and I wasn't getting really into God anymore, which was the worst feeling ever because as soon as you start losing the connection with God, you start feeling like this might be the last day, and you, go to hell. you might go to hell. And that's what I have been feeling these past days. And it's sucked. <laughs> but I'm okay now. Thanks to God, I am saved. I got myself back up. God helped me because he is my strength. And yeah. So, everything happened. Um, the pastor said to go back to his seat. Listen to, the, um, to what he's saying. Because right now, God's working with him. God's moving his way to his heart right now. 
and he said that and we'll talk later about this he said okay he did that and yeah at the at um at the end of the church he did talk to him and he ended up accepting god in his heart so hallelujah i was everyone extremely was extremely happy just like i was i was so happy because God truly helped that man understand that he is worthy. So this is what I'm trying to say. This message is about being worthy. The type of like, are you worthy? You may ask, are we worthy? Many people say, no, we're not. I mean, I still don't think I am. But at the same time, I know I am. And I'll tell you the reason why. So... The day Jesus died, he had an option because God talked to him. God told him, save these people. Because before Jesus ever died in that cross, we were dead. We were already dead. Because we knew we were dead because if we would have died, we would have gotten to hell. We wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have gotten to heaven. That's why... God asked Jesus to do that. And Jesus had the option to say no, but he didn't because so much love for us. He lasted days. I don't know, probably weeks, months, years. Who knows how long that lasted. All that suffering. He did it for us. No matter what, not even nothing have ever crossed his mind. This never crossed his mind that he would say, no, I am not going to do that. I'm not going to um, suffer because of these sinners. No, he never said that. That thought never crossed his mind because he loved us for us. We are sinners. Yes, we live in a curse of sin. We are selfish. We are sinners. We do many horrible things. And yet, God forgives us. He forgives us. And by God, I mean Jesus. Because, let me tell you about something. So, for me, I, I know that there's Catholics that believe in the Virgin Mary. I do believe in her. Well, I don't. I believe she exists. I have respect for her. I do not say like, oh, she's nothing. No. I have respect for her. She's the mother of Jesus. Of course, I have respect for her. But the thing is, I don't get is that I'm not trying. I'm not judging. Don't worry. I am not judging no one. If this sounds like I'm judging, I'm so sorry. I don't. I'm not judging. I truly respect your guys' religions. Believe me, I do. But in the Bible, it said... That God, in the Bible, it said that God only wants us to believe, to praise Jesus. Only him, not his mother, not no one else, just Jesus. That's why, and I know many of you guys think you're like, but we're not. Well, technically you are. Because if you put pictures on it, I know many people pray to her. They do um, many things. Like they have pictures of the Maria and stuff. But that's somewhat like worship. That's the thing. But anyways, that's what I'm trying to... What I'm getting here is that... Um, is that by God, I mean Jesus. Because that's what God, as in actually God, He wants us to believe in Jesus. That's why I call God Jesus. And I... They're not the same people. Get this. Because I know many people confuse that. That like they're the same person. Yes. But different persons. If that makes sense. <laughs> yes. They are the same. Because I mean they're both God. Well if that makes sense. No. Does not make sense. Okay. They're the same person. Because we worship them. But different people. If that makes sense. I don't know how to make it more to sound make sense. I don't know. But anyways. God did that for us. He suffered so many times just to save us. 
And we, like I said, we live in a curse of sin. This body, this body you see right here is sin. This is why when, it, um, as punishment ad, of Adan and Eva, when they said that uh, you were, if you've seen the other, um, if you've seen my last preach, I talked about science. Um, I said that their punishments, I told the punishments for Adan and Eva. And one of the punishments was that, okay, so God made us from the, uh, from the dirt, from the land. He made us there. So basically, as soon as we die, this sin goes back back to where it was so as soon as we die that's why we become dust because it's this meat we have this meat is sin and this world is full of sin that's why it's saying that since this is sin it will go back to where it belongs and it will become dust but our spirit will either go up or down so so like i said god did this for us if we weren't worthy he wouldn't have done that we are worthy because no matter what we do he forgives us he died in that cross so we could be saved he would do he protects us he loves us no matter what we do for who we are even if we're sinners he loves us so we are worthy don't ever feel like you're not worthy because you are. Trust me. Because if God didn't do any of this, if God didn't do anything of this, that means we wouldn't be worthy. He does this because he believes we are worthy. And God, what he says, it's true. He is love. God is love. So let me tell you about something else. God, I'm going to tell you about who God is and who the enemy is, a.k.a. the devil. So, God. God is love. That's what he is. God is love. If you get to know him, you'll see how much he loves you. Every day you'll feel happy because that's what he is. He's love. He loves you no matter what happens, no matter what you do. He never gives up on you. He's always there by your side. He will always protect you. No matter what happens. And now let me tell you about the devil. The devil is a rotting person. A person who every minute he wants us to every minute to suffer he doesn't want to see one day one minute without us suffer that's what he wants he wants us to feel horror about our, about ourselves the reason why we say that i am not worthy is because the devil is making you say that the devil is giving you those thoughts so i'm telling you this if you ever feel like you're not worthy remember what god did for you Tell God that you're feeling this way and he will help you because you are worthy. Yes, we are sinners, but God will help us no matter what. We are worthy. So next time, like I said, next time if you feel like this, remember that that's not you talking. Those are not your thoughts. That's the enemy's thoughts. That's what the enemy is bringing to you these thoughts, these horrible things. And remember of what God did for us, for all of you. You are worthy. This is the message God wanted me. This is the message God bring, gave me. I'm sorry, I'm messing up again. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. And like I said, you are not unworthy i was gonna say you're not worthy that's that did not come out the way i wanted to i'm sorry i'm sorry you are worthy thank you guys for watching and if you guys want me to do anything 
um hope maybe i'll do a video of me reacting to anime i might do that or i might do a q a video like i said on my last video might do a q a so that you guys could get to know me so yeah um make sure if you want to know get to know me and ask questions Comment down below your questions, and in my q and A, I I will answer them. So anyways, thanks guys for watching, and until then, bye!